This art project is inspired by Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. Murakami's pop art consists of bright, colorful paintings and sculptures of cartoon like characters. His work is inspired by sci fi, Japanese animation, and manga, and the commercial art market. He is the founder of the artistic movement called Super Flat, which is characterized by bold outlines, flat colors, and a lack of perspective and three dimensional depth. Some of his works are extremely high priced creations intended for an art gallery or art collectors, but he also mass produces merchandise such as mugs, keychains, and t shirts featuring the characters he has created. In this art project, we are recreating one of Murakami's flat collages with the iconic smiling flowers and skulls. And here's what we'll need. Here's my white sheet of paper and a variety of circle tracers to create different sized flowers. The larger the flowers, the less flowers you'll need. To create a flower, start with drawing the center disc using a tracer. To make the petals, we need to divide the circumference, the distance around the circle, into 12 parts, since there are 12 petals. Taking a ruler, I mark the lines that divide the circle into fourths. I'm just eyeballing it and try to divide it as evenly as I can. It doesn't have to be exact. Then divide the fourths into thirds. When we do this to the other three sections, we will have divided the whole circle into 12 sections. These 12 sections are the 12 petals, and now I just need to create the petals' outer edges with a curved line. It won't be perfect, but try to make your petals as similar as possible, as even as possible. Here I'm creating another flower, but using a different tracer to create a smaller flower. Add these flowers in different sizes all over the page, making sure you don't overlap your lines. If you want to include skulls on your collage, create a round shape for the skulls and four stems for the teeth. Add in two round eyes and an upside down heart nose. Add these skulls in different sizes and rotate your paper to draw them in different angles. Add as many flowers and skulls so that the background is covered. Don't forget to erase the pencil lines afterwards. Once you have all the flowers and skulls in, finish the flower drawings by adding in the mouth and eyes. Then carefully give it a nice outline with a black marker. The final step is to add the color. You can color it however you want using the medium of your choice. I will be using crayons. Color using random, bold, bright colors or use a color theme. I will use the blue theme just like Murakami's painting. And here's my final product. And that's it! I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!